What is up guys, your riddles, your boy Kagi, back at it again with the new video. Make sure you like, make sure you comment with any scams, and make sure you subscribe to this channel with all notifications on number one blockchain gaming channel in the world. Now in this video, I bring you Revamon. Revamon is a collectible game, play to earn game, in which you can catch your Revamons in VR, right? In a virtual world, and then you can battle it against other players. And also, I heard that there's gonna be housing as well, NFT housing. So maybe you can trade your assets, your NFTs, you have your little house, as you can see right here, it's a town where you can walk around with your pets, battle against other players, and all that good stuff. Now this video is sponsored by Revamon, Thank you, Revamon, for sponsoring this video. I appreciate it so much. Now, something very important about this game, the creators of this game are the same creators of Pokemon VR, a fan-made game. They created Pokemon VR, but they actually had to shut it down because they didn't want to risk Nintendo coming after them. You know how Nintendo is? They've been shutting down people left and right for hundreds of years. I don't know if Nintendo has been in here for hundreds of years, but whatever. You know the point. The point is that they shut down everything. Whether it's tournament, games, it doesn't matter what it is. So they decided to shut it down. So they rebranded it into Revomon with their own designs. Other than asking questions to the people within the Discord, other than talking to the devs, I also, I also did my research online. And as you can see right here, this is an old article from the beginning of 2020. And then I went into all the way down here and it says right here, you can jump on the Pokemon VR Discord to find out more about this game. So they are the actual creators. And then when I click on it, bam, it takes you to the Revamon actual Discord. So that means that they actually rebranded. They're doing their own thing now. Um, so it's all good. Now this game is going to release on SideQuest. This is the same place where uh, Pokemon VR was in. Um, and you can download a bunch of VR games here for your Oculus Quest. I actually have to get an Oculus Quest. I was looking at it, how much it costs. It's going to cost me $300. But anyway, SideQuest is a partner for this game. So that's very good. That's interesting. Um, so as soon as this game comes out, you're going to see it right here, sponsored. So this game is probably going to take off. People are going to download it. The people that are, you know, very, very attached to the, to the VR world are probably going to try this game out. So that's good. So you as an investor, as a token holder for this game, um, I think you're in for a good ride, honestly. Um, not financial advice, of course. By the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to get the token and all that. So enjoy. So if we go to the gameplay, we go to the white paper right here. As you can see, this is the town that we have in the main website. Um, it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. I can only imagine in VR. I never actually played VR. Like I, I put it on, but I never actually played it. So I'm actually excited for something now. I'm actually excited to try something new. Revamon Tamers managed to bring great benefit to the human race by harnessing the incredible power of the monsters. Many mysteries will still remain around the magical capabilities of the Revomons, as it seems the Tamers have only just begun to understand their true power. Throughout the years, various factions have emerged who see the Revomon for different purposes. The scientists who wish to study this Revomon and to understand and catalog their unique abilities. The secret society, made up of the world's most elite and powerful people, they see Revomon as nothing but a tool to be used for profit. The anarchists, who believe the world was better when humans and Revomon were equal. Their goal is to use Revomon to disturb the peace. Select your tamer and train Revomon in a first person environment within VR and explore the environment by interacting with various elements. Use a slingshot to throw energy balls at Revomons to catch them or release them. So once you catch these Revomons, you can trade it as an NFT. You can convert them into NFT and trade it with other players, which is something amazing, you know? And if you're not into the blockchain thing, you're gonna be able to play the game. And then later on, if you want, understand the game as blockchain, right? And then switch your Revomons into blockchain and trade it with other players. Very, very interesting. Now I do have a little clip from the actual game right here. It doesn't look that well because I actually saved it to my computer and it was a GIF. So there we go. Interesting, dude. Oh, that looks cool, man. All right, so let me show you a little bit more of the gameplay. These are the Rebelmon starters. All game universes have their own idols, and we're starting this new immersive journey by introducing you three Rebelmon starters for the first generation. Interesting. We got the Gorlet. Gorlet is a fire type starter, ending into a firestone type once evolved. Zorel. The water starter will be the most resistant one, gathering 65 DP and 64 SDP together. However, it is speed, it's the lowest one. We recommend to consider about whether to use an attack or defense move carefully during a battle. 
the only starter we already integrated in its bio type in the Revelmon world. The next one we got is the Kud on the redesign. So they're redesigning this might change, obviously. The Kud is a forest type ending in forest twilight type once evolved. Now right here we can actually see the evolution in the actual website. So if you scroll down all the way down, you can see the Gorlit, then Gorox, and then Gorkano. That looks fire. The Kut. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. That looks actual dope. Actually dope. Wow. Okay. I actually like this evolution more than this one. I mean, this is dope too, but this one looks badass. Then we got the Zorel. Zorel. Zorin. That's cute. This one is fire. I like it. Blizzora. And then, and then right here we got a few more that I'm guessing they're under development. We got Xernos, Rival, and Tidju. Many different features will be added to enhance the social aspects, storyline, and competition within the game. This will be built around play-to-earn mechanisms and will include quests to further your tamer progressions, clans that will rally separate members around shared interests and group missions, competition with PvP and tournament ranking, and achievements. This looks beautiful, man. This looks beautiful. I'm excited. I'm really excited. Like, I'm not even like, not even because I'm sponsored. I'm actually excited to play a game like this. I just never tried uh, VR, so I'm excited for that. Players can be rewarded for the hours they spend playing Revomon. Time is valuable and the items they collect while playing will have a value for other players. The game is developed with this core aim in mind. So some people might think like, oh, somebody can go and buy, you know, the best Revomons from, from other people. That's how it works. That's how real game economy works. So I cast those Revomons, right? And then somebody can pay their way in and buy the best rebel months but you know what i i earn money i earn money or you the trainer that have been training for a while that have been catching rebel months are is also earning money by selling these nfts and this this rebel months right so this is how actual the actual economy should work within games right so uh, you can trade whatever assets you have whatever assets you own whatever you worked for you can trade it to other players we will provide an open marketplace. Players deserve to sell these items if they want to, as they are the ones who have invested their time to find them. There you go. I haven't, this is the first time I actually read that, but this is exactly what I just explained right here. So there's going to be a marketplace. You're going to be able to sell your Revomons, et cetera, et cetera. Now let's take a look at the actual token utility. What can you do with the token? Um, as you can see right here, you can play to earn marketplace payments tier system so i'm gonna go into the tier system in a little bit you can get early access if you hold a certain amount of tokens and of course governance DAO protocol now now governance is something very very new to the gaming industry and i think it's a way forward for games because it gives power to the player if i'm investing so much time into your game at least hear me out right so that's what governance actually does so if you have the token now you can make proposals right you can vote on proposals so as you see a lot of games people you know always come commenting we should have this we should have that and it's all over the place you're gonna see it on reddit you're gonna see it on twitter you're gonna see it on discords and then nothing gets done for the people or at least it seems like nothing gets done because there's so many ideas all over the place that for the devs to put them together and actually execute on those ideas is very hard but now with governance you as a player if you hold the tokens now you can propose you can vote with the developers right so this is a very interesting concept that will be part of the gaming industry and for the people that are not blockchain natives i'm telling you right now this is the way this is the way now let me actually jump into the tier system and what the tier system provides now you gotta buy the tokens to actually be eligible for this tier system so as you can see right here we got trainee you get the ability to uh, have dow boating staking and farming um, with 1k revo tokens and then tamer which is the one that i'm getting um 2.5k because this one is um it gives you early access to the game it gives you doubt and it gives you staking now if you want to go a step further then you got 5k re revel um level one dow request nft by priority so interesting very interesting so you got a priority if they do a sale or something you're gonna have a priority there then you got veteran it gives you level two dow airdrop and slot priority and then you got elite in-game boosters monthly nft airdrop and level three dow requests and then 100k revo uh, gives you booster packs and vip channel 
Now to get the token is very very simple actually. You can get the token on Uniswap or you can get the token on PancakeSwap. Uniswap is the ERC20 token within the Ethereum mainnet and then on PancakeSwap then you got the BEP20 token so it's very very simple now if you guys don't know anything about blockchain the best thing you can do is actually first understand what is metamask metamask is an ethereum wallet that connects to your browser right and there you have your your wallet and it's all good now you have to learn how to do this so you can go to metamask tutorial on youtube and there's plenty plenty of tutorials for you guys to understand how this works now for the people that already know about blockchain but never been into the binance smart chain then i'm going to teach you how to do that with your metamask very very simple so if we go right here um, to this link i'm gonna leave the link down below all you have to do is open up your metamask boom then you can switch between ethereum and binance right here but obviously you're not gonna have binance network within your metamask so you have to add it it's very very simple you go to custom rpc all the way down and then you add all of this information and you put it right here once you put it right there now you are on the bnb network and you can go back and forth between ethereum and bnb now if you guys want to get some bnb you got to go to binance.com and get some bnb and then send it to your wallet now very very important when you withdraw that bnb you have to withdraw the bnb as a b e p 20 b e p 20 because there's going to be a few protocols there's the erc 20 there's the bp 20 there's the bp 20 so b e p 20 that's the one that you want to send to your wallet so once it's going to give you the option and then once it gives you the option you click bp 20 you you copy the address you paste it and then you send it to your wallet now once you do that now you got bnb on your metamask chilling don't stress it now you go right here to Revamon. you go to buy on pancake swap which is basically a, uh, a service within the bnb network and all you got to do is go to yeah sure let's go to number two um and then you connect your wallet up here like you would on uniswap same thing same thing as you guys you guys can see right here i'm actually gonna log out so i can teach you bam metamask and now i gotta search for the token Revamon. So the Revamon token is not there. And it's very simple. You go to coin coinmarketcap.com. Revamon. You go to Revamon right here, and then you're gonna see the Ethereum contract address. If you go to more, you're gonna see the Binance Smart Chain address. You copy the address, right? You copy the address, go back to PancakeSwap. Since you're not gonna be able to find it, you paste the token address right here. Boom, easy collapse now you swap away and you buy right whatever you want to buy i'm gonna buy i'm gonna have 2.5k rebelmon so i can actually have early access into the game so there you guys have it thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate it i hope this game actually captures your imagination and what this game can actually be in the future because they have already made something that works and i think this game um, has massive potential so thank you for watching i'll see you guys next video peace